today I'll be showing you how to make easy red velvet cookies. So I have my recipe here and it only takes three ingredients. You're going to need one box of red velvet cake mix and then you're going to need one half cup of softened butter and then two eggs. First have an adult set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You then want to pour the cake mix into a bowl. Crack your two eggs into a separate bowl. Then want to whisk them well. I probably should have got a bigger bowl, but I'm going to make this work. Then want to pour your eggs into the cake batter. Use your butter or margarine. It's time to stir. Sure to mix everything very well. When you are mixing the batter, it's going to be really thick, so you're going to need a lot of strength. Now you want to get your baking sheet out, along with some parchment paper. Then using your cookie scoop, you want to place them on the pan. Be sure to place them two inches apart. Now, have an adult put the cookies in the oven. You will want to bake the cookies for 10 to 12 minutes. You then have some yummy red velvet cookies. But the cookies need to cool. So you'll want to put the cookies on a rack. They are really moist and delicious. Now that the cookies are finished, I want to make them look really pretty before I give them to my mom. So I got this tray from the dollar store and it's really pretty and it only costs a dollar. So I'm going to put my cookies on this tray. Now I'm going to use clear wrap to cover my cookies. My grandma Nikki also got these cute labels to put on my cookies. She got these labels from Michaels. Now that my cookies are all wrapped up, I want to put a pretty ribbon on them. Now I'm going to take this pretty white ribbon and tie it around my cookies. I'm going to need my grandma to help me with this part. All done! I'm so happy with how they taste and look. I can't wait to give them to my mom. Now it's time to clean up. Friends, let me give you a quick tip when cleaning up. Use a red velvet cake mix. Use a paper towel to clean the dishes. That way you don't stain your dishcloth.
had fun sharing this recipe with you. Thanks for all the comments on my last video. Have a great day and don't forget to like this video. Bye for now.